a hot swap on the S3E cell sorter allows you to exchange fluidics bottles without needing to shut down the instrument and can be done with the DI water, sheath, and waste bottles. A hot swap is possible because the S3E cell sorter contains an internal sheath reservoir which maintains the system pressure while the fluid bottles are being exchanged. This reservoir provides a three minute window to exchange the fluidics bottles. Swapping all three bottles should only take about one minute. Please note that if you take longer than three minutes, you will need to run QC before continuing with your experiments. To perform a hot swap, make sure you have the replacement bottles ready to go in front of the S3E. Remove the seals from under the caps of the new DI water and sheath fluid containers and prepare a waste bottle with 40 mils of bleach. Next, go to the Setup and Maintenance tab in the ProSort software and click on the Swap Fluidics button. This will automatically start the three minute countdown timer for the Fluidics swap. If you haven't prepared your bottles in advance, click the green arrow. The software will detect that you haven't swapped the bottles and ask if you're sure you want to proceed. Clicking yes will stop the timer so you can continue your run while you prepare your new fluid bottles. Once you have everything in place, you can click the swap fluidics button again to restart the hot swap timer. Once your timer is running, open the fluidics door. Detach the quick disconnect from the cap assembly by pushing the metal button and then lift until it engages with the magnetic holder above the bottles. Gently lift up and pull out the empty container and remove the cap assembly. Uncap the new bottle, insert the cap assembly, and then tighten the cap, making sure the cap is tight enough to prevent air from entering the system. Place the new container in the appropriate position and attach the quick disconnect to the cap assembly. You should hear a click as it connects. If you don't hear a click, press the metal tab to reset the quick disconnect and attach again. Repeat these steps if you have more bottles to replace. This step is very important. Bottles that are not connected correctly can cause fluidics errors that prevent the S3 from operating properly. Once all the bottles have been replaced, click the play button in the software's Swap Fluidics window to finish the swapping procedure and continue with your experiments. Finally, empty the waste bottle in accordance with your lab's procedures for handling biohazardous waste. As always, if you have questions about any of your BioRad products, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at biorad.com. And please, subscribe to our BioRad Life Science YouTube channel for more helpful tips.